Wow, this is Terrence Gangster Weezy, aka OG Giggity, aka Mr. Answer Right Back, aka the People Champ, Terrence Civilian Williams. Man, they got a nice little thing going on on the internet. Hurricane Chris, he's upset that 50 Cent brought a lot of stuff to the ratchet, but he ain't booked no local artists. So, I was just checking it out, right? I was listening to what Hurricane Chris was saying. So I was like, okay, I got a lot of people down there in the street I can reach out to. But then I was like, no, because I don't want to be biased. Uh, then I don't want to uh, throw nobody no crow because them guys still live there. I say, so let me listen to what Chris saying. Hurricane Chris uh, speaking on that 50 spend 500000 on the police officer, on the police, you know, to make sure everybody's safe. And... He didn't book not one local artist, and you got hot artists down there because he named Big Papa. I've been talking about Big Papa uh, since I met Big Papa. So, and then Hot Boy Gator. And I'm like, okay, I'm checking, I'm checking. Now, and I know he said about Louisiana Legends, so when he said Louisiana Legends, I say, whoa, uh, Master P was down there. I heard Fred O'Bain came through. But I will say this, as a tourist, I kept speaking on how 50 made sure the police was out there and how he protect their, you know, make sure everybody was safe. Because I had people drive from Pensacola to come down. You know, it was people from Mississippi came down there. So my thing is, when my, 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 my uh, homie that drove down from Pensacola with his people, if something would have happened out there, the first thing he would say, man, you had me come all the way to, from Florida down here and all this, bro, da, 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 man. So I look at that. It was a success. But then I look at, okay, 50 came to the ratchet. 50 threw his own, his event. And you got the hottest rapper in the city and Big Papa. He wasn't invited to none of the, the big, the main events. However... I want to say 99.7. Hopefully I got that right. 99.7. Do a free event. And Big Papa perform. Rock the crowd. I was backstage. That's how I know. That's right. I was in the mix. So they still, Big Papa was still able to get some free promotion where they piggyback off of the event 50 through, because 50 through the event brought the city out. Now, listen, we're going to throw a free thing under the bridge and let's cut it up. Let, let's crank it up. So you got people like Cassandra. Shout out to Cassandra's restaurant. So I'm shouting y'all out now. When I come at the street, I need a discount. So anyway, um, now everybody that have a business out there, now they get to make money now. So, so I'm looking at it like, on one hand, I'm like, okay, I, I hear what you're saying, uh, Hurricane Chris. Now, it, it could have been some local artists that could have got some money in their pocket and did what they do. But then one would say, well, this is 50 money. He get to do what he want. You can't tell a man how to spend his money or what to do, right? Now, I'm a, let me let me go back on Chris' side for a, a, a second. Because I've been hearing how people been in the comments saying, well, you had a deal. You didn't do this. Why you didn't do this and this? Chris was a teenager. Chris was young. I'm hearing Chris still in his 30s now. So that was a long time ago. And I'm thinking about even for myself, we don't think like, let me invest my money in the hood, let me invest my money in this, this. Now that we older, you sit back and be like, man, I could have did this, did this, and this. Now you're more wiser. So I'm not going to bash him and be like, well, why you did this, this, and this, and this? No. What we're going to look at is this here. He has sparked the conversation. He has sparked the conversation. I could have reached out to some of the uh, people um, High Boy Gator, Big Papa, or the OG Bam Bam for the 411 Giant. Could have reached out to some uh, uh, shorty. Uh, it ain't, it, it's not my business to talk about because they're in the trenches. I could have spoke, reached out to those guys and got their opinion. But I didn't because, like I say, they in Shreveport. Um, and I don't want them voicing their opinion with me and me putting it out because I have a, 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 a nice size uh, audience on my channel. And I don't want to start no riff-raff in the city, in the ratchet. 
But I listen and I'm hearing what Hurricane Chris doing and saying, and it's got people talking now. So now, um, one will say, okay, because I did some homework. And I will say this, Chad, it's a white guy named Chad that had the club Coco Palace. That's where I think they shot the Hey Bay Bay at. A lot of kinds, a lot of stuff, meetings were made. Blacks supported that club. But not one time did he have a school giveaway. Not one time did he give back. He already shut that down and made it a white club. But nobody didn't blast that. So we got a, a black entrepreneur come through, bring me into the city. And yeah, a lot of us look at it like, well, man, he, he, he going to, uh, them people use the fit to fix the road. People use the fit to do this. Fit to look at that like, I'm not from Shreveport. I'm from New York. But I came on down here because I saw opportunity. So now what I'm going to do is, see us as blacks, we looking at it like, man, he did it. No, nah, we can't do that. We can look at it like, okay, he, he put the spotlight on our city. So now let us, some us come together and let's try to mimic that. Now we know we ain't going to be able to spend no $500,000 on no officers because at the end of the day, we're in a ratchet now. So now we got to be careful now when, when we try to come together and throw these events. You know, them young wild ones gonna still be like, okay, yeah, we we about to we got to bring up, we about to bring the, our army out tonight, and then it might get crazy, and then people gonna say, see, so we don't want that. And like I said, I could have reached out to uh, a few people in street report and got them on a, on my panel and, and and discuss this matter. I was like, no, I'm not gonna do that. Um, I just want to just chime in on it because I was actually in street report. Got a chance to be a you know go all through Shreveport down you know down bottom the bottom boy why what's happening baby uh y'all see the beat y'all see the hat but anyway um and they just had an event too I missed it I'm in little matter of fact I need to call Bam and tell him about that I wasn't invited invited to the so I might be switching up on the bottom boy I might be going uh in another part of Shreveport I think I might switch up on them because they didn't invite me but anyway that's another story so but let's get back to the topic of hand. Shout out to Shreveport. Shreveport got some bullshit motion right now. Got the spotlight on them. So y'all got to take advantage of that and try to make this money. And then all the leaders in different hoods need to come together and get y'all own book bag. Get y'all own go back to school giveaways for these children. See, that's one thing you got to do too. Y'all will get, get one designated area or two, three designated area. Get you a few officers out there and give back to the community so when they see y'all giving back now when y'all throw events okay let, let's go support the event because we, one thing we do know we're we gonna all agree with this 50 not from Shreveport so when 50 throw an event the city gonna come out but if somebody from Shreveport throw the event now it's a oh he from down bottom oh he from over there in that part of town yeah we don't mess with we don't really, I ain't gonna support that we ain't doing that we ain't that's the problem we have and, the, and I, will, I will say this here. The reason why I understand what Hurricane Chris saying about no local artists was invited because I'm listening to the voices in New Orleans, how they were cut up. I know them rappers in New Orleans they were cut up the same if somebody came down there to that bitty and they didn't invite no local artists to perform. They'll be cutting up too because they already be ticked off about certain uh, stuff people not putting them on and it. so I get it. I understand that. Sometimes we can't be in that tunnel vision. Sometimes we gotta just listen to, like I said, what Hurricane Chris saying because he have a good point. Then I'm gonna listen to what the other people saying. So when I thought about, it, I was like, yeah, Chris got a good point. He could have had some local artists They're like Big Papa for number one. That I mean, like a, Big Papa got free promotion anyway through the radio station, but just imagine he would got invited to a 50 event because Big Papa already doing his thing. Big Papa been writing for for people for the longest. People been putting Big Papa behind the screen. People haven't been letting Big Papa come out. Big Papa ain't been getting the love he, that, he's, that he deserves. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get Big Papa on my show. So, um, so this is a, a legend in Tree Poor that, that, that for years been writing hits and hits. That would have been real big for Big Papa, you know, but like we, like I always say, we can't count 
50 money. We can't tell 50 why you ain't do this coulda, shoulda, woulda. That's that man money. So he got a right to do what he want to do with it. Uh, Hurricane Chris is from Shreveport. He have a right to speak out and say how he feel about that situation. And then the conversation starts. So now, what do you do? Do you just talk about it? Everybody chime in with the comments and you leave it here? Or do you move out now? Because now you got to say, okay, we saw what 50 did. We saw what's going on now. We born and raised it. Let's go ahead and try to put up something together and let's try to get some money ourselves because there's a lot of people with money out there. There's a lot of people with money out there that is clutching it. All they're doing is clutching the money. You got to spend some of that money, man. You know? And, um, and the reason why I'm speaking on this because I was down there in the ratchet and they showed me so much love down there, man. Shout out to Hot Boy Gator one more again. Shout out to Big Papa. I met Big Papa, humble guy. Shout out to Big Papa, AK the Pill, man. I, 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 I. I got a chance to meet that man at the Rock the Crowd, come straight off the stage, and we bond. I, I, I really like that. Um, so shout out to Big Papa, AK The Peel, man, out in Shreveport. Hottest artists out there. One of the hottest artists out there. I'm going to say that because you know, got some other artists. Oh, Jesus, I don't need y'all hit me up in my hand. Bye, OG. Da, 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 da. All right, calm down. Send that to me. Let me hear that stuff. Don't flood my DM with it because I ain't going to listen to all of them. Just let you know that now. Anyway, I like the conversation was going on because now I'm going to sit back because I got family in Shreveport. That's right. I got family down there. So now I'm going to be able to see if after the 50 event, because he, cause, cause he sparked some conversation. So now after the 50 event, I'm going to now be checking for is there other events? What's going on now? 50 done lit the match. He done set the tone. Now he's showing me. Okay, let's go get it. Because I ain't hear nobody say nothing about this Chad guy who had the Coco Pellets, who made millions in the ratchet, and who ain't give nothing back to the community. Nobody say nothing about that. So, so let's focus on now somebody doing something now to pick it back up to make the money. The man didn't set the tone now. He set the tone. I was right there. I witnessed that thing, man. Yeah, I witnessed that thing. You see, I got my head out. That's right. I'm official down there, huh? That's right. Shout out to Shreveport one more again. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to every part of Shreveport and get me a woman. Yeah, I'm going to put me a baby in every part of Shreveport. That's what I'm going to do. So that way I can level. I can let that, that's what OG Gator is about to do. Yeah, so, so the female, y'all get ready. Uh, when I come back through the port, you know, um, I saw one at the club, tall and with dreads, big old thick something too, but I ain't going to call her name because I don't want her to be like, oh, why you doing that? But she thick now. Nah. Yeah, but she, she look, I don't know if she had on some boots or not. I don't want, I don't want too tall, cause if she, yeah, cause if we be at the, we be at the, in the mall somewhere, and we standing up, and I'm about to buy her something, and she put her hand on my head, like, that's gonna make, girl, don't do, they don't come out, they can't do that. I thought about it. Yeah, I don't want no bra taller than me. Nah, 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 let me get back, because yeah, I know I drift off somewhere else. I, I just do that from time to time. But like back where I was saying, though, man, it's a good conversation that's going on. Hopefully y'all can keep it respectful and um, capitalize off it. Get the money, man. The money out here is, is out here. Capitalize off it. Let's get it. So uh, y'all know my motto. Let's say no to drill. Let's stop the violence. Put the guns down. Make sure y'all can test for HIV and AIDS. Y'all need to know y'all's status. We got the non-profit. They need us. The Instagram. They need us. Third War. The movie. Them boys at war. The reality show. Surviving Out Birdman. Shout out to Cash Money. Shout out to Rich Gang. Shout out to Chopper City Records. Shout out to Young Money Records. Shout out to OVO Records. That's the that's this that was the channel. That's the, this, the, this, this is what it is. Um, and before I leave here, before I get off here, shout out to Ep With Us Podcast, Talk Your Talk, and my podcast partner, Crypto Jeezy. Shout out to him. One of the most loyal uh, friends y'all could have. And I got him. So we rocking out Crypto Jeezy. That's right. Um, but just for the heads up for the women. Because I know that y'all gonna be checking them out, peeping them out. And I'm letting you women know, y'all, y'all, all right now. 
I'm gonna give y'all a heads up. I know y'all be like, OG Giggity, well, how he is? He ain't right. OG Giggity, is he good people? No, he gonna try to dog you out. He gonna just have sex with you and, and, and hurt your little feelings. So yes, I'm hating on him. So do, do not, do not try to give him no plate. Don't, all right now. I don't want you guys. Crypto Jeezy have plenty of women, y'all. So y'all on y'all own from there. OG Giggity didn't give y'all, I didn't gave it to y'all now. So I'm gonna call it hating. So I'm gonna, some of the women gonna say thank you. And I'm just gonna, I don't care what that people gonna say about the hate. I'm gonna listen to what the women say. Thank you, OG Giggity. Wow, I'm out of here.